You picked the perfect time to learn to play guitar. Stick around. I'll tell you why. I got a 30 pack out in the back. I'm going to tip to the Welcome. Welcome. I am your horrendous, horrible, <laughs> humble host. Thank you. Thank you. No yelling on the bus! So the reason why this is the perfect time to learn to play guitar, quite simple really, it's because I'm teaching you. Everyone in this room is now dumber for having listened to it. I award you no points, and may God have mercy on your soul. Yeah, not so much. <laughs> but I am going to try to help you learn how to play guitar, and I am going to try to teach you. And today we're going to go over how to read a chord chart, which are these guys right up over here. There it is. All right. So let's get started. This is the trusty old chord chart here. It's not as intimidating as it looks at all. And I'll tell you, tell you why here. The top, the top thick line, that represents the nut. That is the plastic piece or ivory, depending on what type of guitar it is. The thing at the end of the fretboard where the strings first come through when they're going to go over the fretboard. That is the nut right there. The vertical lines represent your six strings. This is your top string. Well, top when you're playing it, it's actually considered the bottom string. It's your thickest string. That's your low E. And this is your high E. So you got E, A, D, G, B, E. That's your strings, your vertical lines, your strings. The horizontal lines are representing your frets on your fretboard. So you got your first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth, and fifth. All right. So basically what this is showing you is finger placement on that chord. And the finger numbers are just in order. Two, one, three, right there it's showing you. Your finger numbers are just your hands, basically, your fingers. Your index finger is one, two, three, and four. And what that's telling you is what fingers to use where. So it's telling you what fingers on what string on what fret. So you got everything on that A chord on the second fret, right? So it's the first, second fret. That's showing you where to put all your fingers. And then on the very top, your X's and O's are telling you what, what notes to exclude out of that chord. So on this one, you're just leaving out your low string here. Your thickest string, you're leaving that one out and you're strumming the rest of it. If it's got an O, that means it stays open open which open means you're not fretting any frets you're not pushing it down on any of the frets so those are open strings these are fretted and this one you want to leave out we're going to jump in we're going to show you a version of e minor we're going to show you a little bit of that and what that's all about you can see that that chord is going to be strummed all the way from the top and the bottom and everything is included in that one where some of these other chords you got to leave some stuff out as you can see so we're going to get into all that and we're going to get you playing some guitar well we'll get on the guitar then and we'll see what we can do and i will put this e minor chord right up over here and we'll kind of explain it a little bit um I put all the variations up there because really you play the chord you play the chord kind of according to the chord structure of the song uh whatever's easiest for you in, in each song rather um so with the e minor it's an easy chord basically your top string 
your low E is open, and that's what's going to give you your E note, your E part of the chord. In on your A string, let me get up a little closer here. We're going to put our pointer finger on the A string right here on the second fret. And then right directly below that on the next string down, we're going to use our middle finger on this one. So all we're doing is we're on the second fret on the A string and the D string. And we're being careful not to touch any strings around it above or below it because on this particular chord, you strum the whole chord um, top to bottom. And on the top, on the very top of the chord chart where the X's and O's are, that is representing the notes that you do hit. If there's an O, that means you're going to hit it open. Open, that means. If there's an X, that means that you're going to want to mute that string or you're going to want to skip it. Either pick around it. Um, a lot of times I give examples where, like on my G chord, where I actually bump this string I bump the string to actually keep it silent that way you can just pick the whole thing you can just strum the whole guitar and you don't have to worry about picking around certain strings and doing things like that it's just a little trick and a little bit easier to do honestly and especially at this point when you're learning right now if you learn that way you're gonna be way further ahead than most people so just a little tip there, just that's a personal thing that I do, and maybe that works for you, maybe it doesn't. But I'm just gonna I'm gonna fill you guys in on a lot of the things that I do because I was I was self-taught as well, and I didn't have videos like this and nothing like that. So in the beginning of the video I talked about the this is the best time to learn to play guitar. It is because there's so many things like this out there right now on YouTube and all across the internet telling you and instructing you how to do a lot of these things. Um, I kind of just had to read a lot of books and whatnot and just fiddle around, play, play around with stuff, do the best I could to try to uh, to try to figure it out basically by ear. And uh, just books and anything I could get my hands on. Um, so coming back to this E chord, this E minor chord rather, sorry. So we got our two fingers in there, we're on the E minor chord, we're not hitting any strings around it and you just strum it top to bottom, that is an E minor right there. That's about the easiest chord you're gonna get right there on the guitar. So. That's a good one to start with, something good just to get your fingers used to it because I'm going to tell you right out the front, for sure, your hands are going to hurt. <laughs> and they're going to hurt bad until you build up your callus and you really play a lot. Um, one of my personal, uh, one of the artists I like, he, he uh, gives a piece of advice and says to actually put nylon strings on your guitar. You can do that. I mean... If you really want to, to put nylon strings on it to start, and then you'll learn with the nylon strings, you can do that. Um, I'm a firm believer of just, you just rip the Band-Aid off, and just right off the get-go, let's just start building the callus and start building towards your goal of being able to play, and to be able to play without having any problems of your hands hurting or anything like that. And it's going to take some time, for sure. <laughs> for sure. So, so we showed you the E minor chord, and that is how you read a chord chart. Um, here we're going to go through a couple different things. I, I think I'm going to do some tutorials on individual chords and different ways to play those chords. Because every chord kind of has a different way to play it. Even with the chart telling you the fingers and the positions, it's not always necessary to do that exact same thing. So... I can't understand a word you said the whole time. <laughs> 